The DAAD fully funded scholarship is by far the most powerful scholarship that I know for studying in Germany. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply for it. So the DAAD, the German Academic Exchange Service, gives out the scholarship every year to international students who want to study in Germany. It is fully funded, so this means that all your expenses will be covered. If you are especially from a developing country, you get the opportunity to study in Germany without worrying about finances. So what are the exact benefits you will get from this scholarship? Well, the biggest one is that you get a monthly payment of 934 euros as a master student and 1300 euros as a PhD or doctoral candidate. And this is definitely enough to live as a student in Germany, and it means you don't need a blocked account. Now, the blocked account is a challenge for all of international students, but with this scholarship, you will get enough money per month so that you don't need it. You also get a round airfare ticket to Germany or from Germany, which means that your flight expenses are also covered. The amount depends on the country you're from, there's a table with the amounts on the scholarship website. Now the same goes for your insurance. You don't have to worry about payments for health, accident and personal liability insurance. It is fully covered. Depending on the scholarship program, there are also additional benefits like research allowance and family benefits. So you might be able to take your family to Germany as well, or you also get funding for extra language courses. And under certain circumstances, you can apply for a monthly rent subsidy. So this is even more money on top to manage your rent. You will get this amount if you live in a place where the rent is extremely expensive. They don't want you to spend all of the scholarship money on just the rent. One thing the scholarship doesn't cover though is tuition fees. So this generous funding goes for the duration of the standard period of study of your degree program. And the maximum here is 24 months. So if you're doing your masters in Germany, for example, you can basically live for free for two years. At the end of your first year of study, they will look at your academic performance. Are you getting proper grades? Are you not failing any classes? If it looks like you're on track to you know, successfully complete your program, the scholarship will continue in the second year. Since this scholarship is extremely powerful, of course not everybody gets it. Especially in Germany, these institutes don't give out crazy amounts of scholarships. So it makes sense that there are a couple of requirements to fulfill. Now to get this funding, you need to enroll in a postgraduate or master's degree at a state or state-recognized university in Germany. Public or private universities both are possible. So the requirement is that you need to have a bachelor's degree or at least some kind of first degree. But you only need to finish it by the time the funding starts. So for example, if you finish your bachelor's degree this year, you can still apply for the funding round next year if you plan to do your master's in Germany next year. The application period starts quite early. For this year, the deadline is the 30th of August and the selection date is going to be in January 2025. And the scholarship usually begins on the 1st of October of the following year and a little bit earlier if you take a German language course before your study program. In that case, you get a couple of extra months of funding because you come to Germany about six months before your degree starts, learn the language and then enroll at the university. Another requirement is that you have to know the language of instruction or working language. If your degree is in English, you need to show English language certificates. And the same goes for the German language. A complete guide about language exams is coming soon, so subscribe. Now please keep in mind that some courses will require you to have a couple of years of work experience. It's not every course that will make this very clear on the website. And for artistic and architecture degrees, there are different scholarship programs. So to give you an overview, there are different types of DAD scholarships. They can be normal study scholarships, research grants, PhD programs and research visits. And all of them fall under the category of DAAD scholarships. And you can look them up on the DAAD scholarship database. Of course, a lot of people apply for the scholarship every year since it's so attractive. So to pick the right people, they look for specific criteria. The first thing that is really attractive for them is your academic and personal reasons for your stay in Germany. So if you have a solid reason to come to Germany and pursue your education here, they are going to like it. Also being able to speak good German makes a good impression on the application. Let's say your degree or job is in English, but you show that you are on the B2 level of German for example. And this is a big plus point. So always make sure you learn German, this has massive benefits in every area of your life. The next point is the significance of your stay in Germany for your academic, professional and personal development. How good are your career prospects? Do you intend to stay in Germany after your studies? These are all questions that you need to answer in your application. And show them that you genuinely want to study in Germany and integrate yourself into the country and culture. 
And one thing that Germans love to see is extracurricular commitment. What are you doing outside of your studies? Are you socially engaged? Maybe you volunteered for a non-profit. The better your profile, so good grades, proper activities and commitment, the better your chances. Okay, so let's talk about the documents you need to submit for the application. To apply for the DAAD scholarship, you need to fill out an online application form which you can find on the scholarship website. Everything is completely online and there is no application fee here. First, you need to upload a proper CV in a table form that is not longer than 3 pages. This one is really simple to create, there are thousands of samples online and thousands of YouTube videos on how to create a proper CV. You also have to write a detailed letter of motivation, in which you talk about your academic and personal reasons for choosing to study in Germany. And this should be 1-3 to three pages long, and you write about your educational goals and motivation. Make the best possible impression here. Then you also need to submit a letter of admission to the German university's study program. You know you need to be able to go to university in Germany. No university admit, no scholarship. Now chances are that your letter of admission is not available at the time of application. And this is okay as long as you submit it before the funding period starts, so before October. They also want you to attach a proof of language proficiency, which is valid within the last two years. You have to include this even if it's not required by the university. These are usually your test certificates for the English or German language exams. Alright, we are almost done. Next, you need a proper recommendation letter from a university teacher that includes your qualifications. You also need your university degree certificate. And if you have additional relevant documents, for example, a certificate of employment to show your work experience or proof of extracurricular activities, you can also upload them during the application. One important thing is that if your documents are not in German or English, you need a translation and upload them together with the original documents. Now, the application documents can be slightly different depending on the country. For example, you might need to submit an explanation of the grading system in your country. If you look up the scholarship site, you can navigate between the tabs and look up all the required information. For the application procedure and contact and consulting, you have to enter your country to be able to see the individual cases. So if you're considering the scholarship, type in your country and look through the exact requirements and the support you can contact for questions. So if you go to the tab overview, you can scroll down and right here you can access the dedicated FAQ section about the scholarship. This one is going to clear a lot of your doubts and problems. For example, is there an age limit for DAD scholarships? No, there is usually no fixed age limit. They answer a lot of questions here, so this is going to be a good guide for your scholarship application. The entire website is in English, so don't worry about that. I highly recommend you apply for the scholarship because it can truly make your life easier in Germany. The worst scenario is that you get a rejection. Just give it a try. Don't forget to enroll in the free Germany Stalake course in the video description, download the free Studying in Germany guidebook and join our huge Discord community. Love you and stay focused.